I'd like to say good morning to everyone. Good morning. good morning. We thank you for tuning in today. We thank you for your attendance today. We hope something be said today that can encourage you in the Lord. Yes, Lord. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today is our communion Sunday. We celebrate communion at House of Praise Church every third Sunday. We ask that if you're watching, uh, that you let us take a moment of silence and prayer to cleanse our heart and soul, just in case we may have offended God first and others. Yes, yes. The Bible says that we should not take communion unworthily. If we have any unconfessed sins, uh, any spats with anyone, go ahead and forgive them at this time, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And he forgave us. Amen. And he showed us uh, Amen. Amen. mercy and grace and compassion. Yes, so let's take a couple of seconds to cleanse our heart before we partake of this Holy Communion. So I'm excited today. We have been closed uh, for pub to the public for a couple of weeks due to the rise of Omicron. I don't keep up no more. It's all the devil. Yeah. <laughs> but what God put together, let no man asunder. We got the press in the law. But we also got to use common sense and we got to protect one another. That's right. Amen. Amen. So Amen. if you want to wear a mask, if you feel uncomfortable without a mask, go ahead and wear it if you want to, but I let that be your decision. Uh, I know most of the people that are here at House of Praise, we got our, we vaccinated. I got my third booster going back in four months. Mm -hmm. I ain't super religious. I ain't Amen. no super religious preacher. Amen. 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 the aspirin he made it for me. Maybe you don't need aspirin and I will mm -hmm. but I ain't gonna be foolish. Amen. Amen. I, mean, I, I gotta eat water. I mean, I gotta drink water. I gotta eat food. Medicine Amen. is part of life sometimes. I know some Amen. churches tell you, God, go hit me with ibuprofen, going up a meal, man. Amen. 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 I ain't gonna be foolish now. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong. Jesus said, He that is sick need to see the physician. Amen. That's right. That's right. He Amen. said, You're not, he said, I, I didn't come to call the righteous, but sinners. Those that are, if you sick, go to the doctor and Amen. pray. Amen. 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 Don't, be, don't listen to these preachers super religious and you be in the coffin. Amen. And they be at your repast eating potato salad because you was over religious. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with medicine. Amen. If God want to do it miraculously, he can do it. Amen. But if you want to use medicine to heal me, a healing is a healing in my point. Amen. 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 So we want to thank all of you for tuning in. Thank you all for being here today. And continue to pray for God's people all over the world. Amen. That they will be strengthened and continue to pray for the House of Praise family. So Sister Joseph won't come as our communion Sunday and early dismissal because I promote family. Amen. Amen. Too many times we want to be a blessing at the church, but be a blessing at home. Amen. That's where your real ministry started is at your house. Your house. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Sister Joseph is going to come and give us a, a scripture and a prayer and one selection. And then I'm going to have give you my little Bible study lesson. What God has given me. And we're going to take our communion and we're going to dismiss. Amen. Amen. And enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Amen. Amen. Give her a hand clap as she comes. Good morning, House of Praise. Good morning. This is a day that the Lord has made. Amen. Let us rejoice. Amen. And be glad. Amen. Amen. Our scripture reading is coming from Ephesians 6 10 through 13. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual weakness in high places. Therefore, take unto you the whole arm of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, 
to stand. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and readers and doers of his holy word. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come this morning to say thank you, Lord. Father, we are so grateful to be in the house of God one more time. We are so grateful for the House of Praise family. We thank you, Lord, for allowing them to come out to worship with us today. And we take that not for granted. Holy Spirit, you are welcome to this service on today. Open up our hearts and minds to receive the word that you have for us on today. And Father, if we said or done anything that wasn't pleasing in your eyesight, please forgive us and have mercy on us, Lord. Cleanse us, Lord, from all unrighteousness. Father, move with us, Lord, Father, and let us be obedient and do whatever it is you would have us to do. Keep us, Lord, under your umbrella of protection. And Father, bless the man of God that you have provided for us. Continue to bless him as well and continue to feed him with more wisdom and more knowledge and more understanding. And Father, continue to strengthen me as well. Lift me up and let me be a light into this dark and dying world. Father, have mercy on all of us, Lord. Father, if we offended our brother or sister in Christ, Please forgive us and have mercy. And bless all those that are here and bless all those that wanted to be here today. But for some reason or another, bless them in their absences wherever they may be. Send your angels to encamp around them, O oh Heavenly Father. And bless all our neighbors. Bless them from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. And Father, as we go high and high in the Lord, let us remember you. And let us put you first in everything that we do. And Lord, I thank you for everything you've done and what you're going to do. Thank you, Lord, for food on our table, clothes on our bag. Thank you for our transportation as well. Thank you for help and strength, Lord. Thank you that we was able to walk in this morning and not be carried in by six. We take that not for granted. Lord, we're just so grateful for everything that you've done, Lord, and I thank you. This is my prayer. In Jesus' name, to God be the glory. Amen. Standing in the need of prayer 
It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. And not my mother nor my father, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. And not my mother nor my father, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Now point it yourself now. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Not my favorite verse. Not the preacher nor the deacon, but it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Not the preacher nor the deacon, but it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Now point it yourself now. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Not my brother, nor my sister, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Not my brother, nor my sister, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Give yourself a hand clap of praise. We come to magnify the Lord. Yes, Lord. We come to lift up his holy name. Yes. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for coming into our presence. The word of God says, where two or three are gathered together in his name, there he will be Amen. in the midst. And I want Jesus to be in the midst of us so we can have peace of mind, yes, Father. power, yes, yes, and Father. fellowship. Yes, yes, Jesus. Peace of mind, yes, yes. power, yes, and fellowship. Yes, yes. I want to talk from a topic today. We're, we're here for communion, but I want to give you a a little bitty lesson, at least Amen. something to go home with to carry. Amen. The title is called, and this is what God wants for all of us. And I've already done this, but he wants for all believers, all his children. If you're watching by YouTube, God wants you to do this. Be committed unto life. My title is called Committed Unto Life. You know, people can brag how long they've been on their job, how long they've been married, how long they been in their house, how long they, you know, lost weight. I mean, that's good. Amen. Those are good achievements, but they're just good for the earth. Amen. Amen. But when you commit your ways unto the Lord and you decide you're going to do this for life, there are going to be some benefits for doing Amen. this. Now. Amen. You know how I know? Because Jesus said, when Amen. he come back, mm -hmm. he's going to put all the ghosts on the left. Amen. And the sheep's on the right. That's right. Amen. Hey. Amen. All right. And if you ain't one of them that committed, and you can't get saved by what you do, it's Amen. not your works that's going to save you. Mm -mm. He said, Whosoever called on the name of the Lord yeah. shall be what? Saved. saved. That's right. We don't work to get saved. We work because we saved. That's right. Amen. And I'm telling you, if you haven't committed your life unto God, now is a good time to do so because God is not a man that he shall lie. Amen. And Jesus said he's going to put them ghosts on the left, and he said going to put them sheep on the right, and he's doing that for a reason. Because right. everybody ain't going up. He's going to leave the ghosts down here. Amen. That's right. And what Amen. are ghosts? Ghosts are not bad people. Let me, let's get that understood. Yeah. Ghosts are not bad people. Sheep are not bad people. 
goes of people that just didn't make the commitment. That's it. Amen. You didn't make the commitment. Amen. 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 There's some things in life you just got to do if you want to get the end result. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's right. I bought a lot of chicken. I I, I had it in my pocket. I, I didn't know if I win won nothing until I was scratch. Amen. 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 You can't be on the Lord's side unless you first make a commitment to be on the Lord's side. Amen. That's right. Jesus said, "He that is not with me is what against me." Now that's what Amen. Jesus said. I ain't the preacher talking. Amen. 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 And no matter what people think about how raggedy your life is, if you made that commitment to be with God Amen. and be on the Lord's side, you going up at the end. Amen. 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 I like Job. Job lost everything in one day. And sometimes, you know, it's different if you lose things over a period of time. Yes. Job lost it all in one day. His wealth, his finances, his food, all his cattle, his children. And all they have is why, and he would not curse God. That's it. Amen. Amen. Because Job was what? Committed. See, the commitment is not based on what you have or what God is doing for you. It's based on that you just love God and you're grateful for him being God and allowing you to be in the family. God's son is son to die on our behalf. That whosoever yes, could come could come. Amen. And because he's son is son to die, what am I willing to do in return? At least commit my life unto yes. him. If his son died for me, can I at least live for him? Amen. Amen. You don't have to turn up, but I'm going to read it for you. For time's sake, Job, just write the scripture down. Job, if you can find it quickly, that's fine. Job 13, 15. I want to read something what Job said. After he done lost everything, he was committed. We got a lot of good examples in the Bible of people that were committed. But I like Job because he lost it all in one day. But his attitude was one of positivity. Amen. And though he lost everything in the day, he would not turn from God and he dared to blame God. Amen. Job 13, 15. It reads, though he slay me, Yet will I trust in him. But I will maintain my own ways before him. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. But I will maintain my own ways before him. He said, even though he allowed this to happen in my life, and I may not understand why, I'm still going to trust him. And I'm going to keep doing what I've always been doing before him. Amen. And that's worshiping and serving him. Amen. Amen. Committed unto Jesus. That's what we need to do. Be committed unto Jesus for the debt of you. On our behalf. Amen. Amen. That's what we need to do. Be committed unto Jesus for the debt he did for us. Mm -hmm. On our behalf. That's why I'm committed, because of the debt he did on our behalf. You should be committed Amen. to Jesus for the grace he gives you on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. For the debt that he went experienced on our behalf and for the grace that he consistently gives us on a daily basis. We should be committed to him for the sacrifice he made on our behalf. We should be committed to him for the salvation he gives us to all those who call on him and be committed to him for the power and the protection granted to all believers. Amen. We Amen. should be committed unto him for the power he gives and grant and the protection to all believers. There will be no turning back there will be no betrayal and no serving of the gods once we make that commitment to him. Amen. There will be no turning back, no betrayal, and no serving of the gods. We will not sell our souls to the devil. Amen. I know you don't heard that terminology. People have sold their soul to the devil because they were not committed. See, when you're not rooted and grounded, 
You can be carried away by anything when you're not rooted in ground. That's why when they build houses, they want to make sure that the foundation is perfect. Amen. Because they got to build on top of that foundation. And whatever they build on top of that foundation got to be able to hold it. Amen. The foundation got to be able to support it. The worst thing you want to happen to your house is that your foundation is breaking. Amen. That's a lot of work. Amen. Because you got to undo everything. Amen. And how can you fix something that got a lot of stuff on top of it? And so when you're not rooted in ground and watch it, if you got people in your life, and I'm not just talking about, I'm mainly speaking on the Lord, but when you got people in your life that's not rooted and grounded in anything, it's going to affect you. Amen. There are some things you just ought to be just uh, persistent in. Like I'm rooted and grounded and committed to getting up and go to work because I know I like to eat. Amen. If that ever changes, Sister Joe's going to have to bear it alone. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I have to ride off her blessing. Amen. 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 But because I'm rooted and grounded in that area, she going to benefit and I'm going to benefit. And I'm benefiting from her too because she rooted and grounded and she committed to go to work. See, we got, but you gotta be rooted and grounded in something in life. Amen. That's right, man. God is the number one thing we should be committed to. But we ought to make and see, since we God's offspring, everybody that's a Christian that have a job or or have something that they do in the community, whatever they do, people ought to be glad that you're doing it because you're the offspring of God. Amen. And if you're not to that level, you ought to be working on it. Amen. Because when they see you, they're supposed to be seeing Jesus. Amen. Amen. Whatever Jesus did, he did with excellency. He was invited to a wedding one time. Now, he was just invited. He went. And they ran out of wine. And, the, and he didn't want the man that was giving the wedding to be embarrassed. Because that's Amen. they tell me, my mama said, when you invite people, cook enough food. Because if you don't cook Amen. enough food, they, say they, gonna, they ain't going to say nothing while they're there. Amen. Oh, Amen. brother Tony, you know you done gave some points. He said, man, nigga ran out of weeds when I first got there. Amen. What y'all do? Oh, his wife fixed some nachos. I ain't want no nachos. I want some of them wings he barbecued. Amen. And then, you know, if you didn't have enough money, you, you know, they'll say, well, you came too late. No, you got to figure out how many people come. You know them heavy hitters Amen. coming. Amen. But to show you how Jesus looked at everybody's life as important. He didn't want the man that was giving the wedding to be embarrassed. Amen. And so he turned the water into wine. Amen. And the man came up to him and said, my friend, normally we bring out the good stuff first and then once everybody had a good time, we switch and bring out the cheap stuff. But you, my friend, you say the best for last because he was representing the father. Amen. Amen. That's right. See, that ain't got nothing to do with church. We literally just want to make sure everybody had a good Good time. Good time. And when That's he right. there, he gonna make sure everybody have a what? Good time. So when you go, everybody should have a what? Good time. Cause you there. Amen. So what they ain't got no more ice? Somebody wanna go get some ice? I bought ice. Yeah. We ran out of potatoes. Somebody wanna go? Right. Let your light shine. All right. Amen. Amen. That's what he did. That's right. Cause what? He was committed to the Father. Yes. And everything he did, he made a commitment to. Amen. I'm not gonna just go to be a guest. Well, if I see something need to be done, I'm going to do it. Amen. See, the good people you invite to your house, stay and wash the dishes. Amen. Yeah, now. Nah. Right. Come on, now. Nah. Those people that's committed say, I appreciate Mama Joseph let us come in and walk all on the carpet. I'm at least stay and see if she need help washing the dishes. Amen. That's a committed Amen. person. Yeah. And see, we always think people got, you, you can start wherever you go on planet you. Amen. Yeah. It ain't got to be at the church always. I mean, that's a good place too, but wherever you plan it, your daily, be committed. Amen. People ought to be glad when you get to the job. Amen. Because they know everything going to be all right. Not glad you called off. Amen. Amen. Committed. We will not sell our souls to the devil for any reason. What does it mean? Don't you know selling of your soul is in Miriam Dictionary? You can look up the word selling of souls. It means, this is what it means, to gain wealth or success or power by doing something bad or dishonest. Fame and prosperity. You got it, but you got it dishonest. That means you don't sow your soul. People do anything to get what they want. Amen. Amen. 
Y'all been hearing me saying them for years. When we want what we want, what we want. Amen. <laughs> Don't sell your soul to the devil. Amen. Why would a person forfeit their soul to the devil to gain something that they want? The number one reason why people do it is for instant gratification. Because I want it now. Amen. I don't want to wait. I don't want to graduate. I don't want to beat it. I want it now. Amen. Number one reason is instant gratification. Secondly, not having to wait. People don't like to wait. Amen. That's why microwaves, <laughs> I mean, man. <laughs> See, y'all won't let me preach you. You know, you ain't, I don't, if you ain't got Wi-Fi in a microwave, I ain't coming to your house. <laughs> I know the, my, but I got an oven. We don't cook in the oven no more. We don't want the microwave. Amen. Some people know how to do everything in that microwave. Amen. Instant gratification, not having to wait, not wanting to work hard or be patient. Amen. Greed, or wanting what others have that seem to be better than what I have. Amen. Amen. Or wanting what others have that seem to be better. Yeah. Than what I have. Amen. I know a lady, she got plenty of money, and I ain't gonna say her name, but she got plenty of money, she sings so beautiful, but she wanted a bigger butt. Yeah, it's a reality. She wanted, she ain't want what God gave her. Amen. Amen. So she went and had a surgery, and the silicone fell down in her kneecap. Oh. Amen. Amen. And it almost killed her. Amen. Oh. See, but sometimes when we want what other people, maybe God didn't want you to big old butt. Amen. You ever thought about that? Amen. I know. I Amen. know. But it's happening. Amen. People going to Mexico. Amen. Yeah. It says cheap in sure. Mexico. Amen. Yes, it is. Yeah. Going under the radar, getting surgery. Don't know who cutting on them. Amen. Man, might used to work at the meat market. Don't have no job. I just do silicone on the side. Mm -hmm. Maybe a butcher cutting on you. Amen. Amen. We want what we want, what we want. I'm getting ready to close. Amen. <laughs> When we want what we want, what we want, nothing will stop us. Amen. We will find a way to achieve it. Yes. Isn't it amazing how when God wants us to do something, we don't find a way to do it. Amen. But when we want what we want, what we want, we're going to find a way. I don't care what mama say, the pastor, my husband, my wife, my children, I'm going to do it. Amen. Amen. That's right. And it's part of our Adamic nature. You got that from Eve. Amen. Adam told Eve, hey, Amen. Eve, God say, and that's our ancestors. That's the yeah. see when you're not committed, Come on you still operating. Amen. I'm closing Come under on. the old system because you haven't committed unto God, Amen. then you still got the Adam and Eve nature, Amen. the Adamic nature they call it. Amen. In other words, look, I'm gonna look at the camera and I said, You still hard headed. Because you're not committed. Now yeah. I can back it up, but I don't have the time. Adam had already told Eve what they could and could not have. And Eve, the Bible says she saw the tree and it was desired to make one wise. She saw it and she desired it. Amen. Even though that was what God had in the will for them. Amen. And she did eat and gave to her husband. But now when you're born again, you get the Jesus Christ nature. You get the righteousness of Christ. Amen. Because he's the second Adam. So everybody that's born again, all of a sudden, you're not going to be perfect. You're going to say, you know what? I just want to do right. Because you got the new nature. Amen. And the new nature is to what? Please God. Please God. Jesus, right. God said about Jesus, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Hear ye him. For he always done, he always done the things that what? Please God. So when you get born again, Jesus is the second. You're going to find yourself want to read your Bible and pray. Mm -hmm. Treat people right that you know yes. don't care for you. Yes. Be Amen. kind to people. Yes. You're going to start wanting to forgive people. You know, I used yes. to be mad at them, but you know what? Yes. I ain't worried about that no yes. more. Because you got the Christ like name. You righteous. Amen. Come you on, got now. the new nature. Come on. I know they ain't paid me back, but I'm going to go on to them again. Amen. Come on now. Hey! Come on, come on now. That's all right. Amen. Come on now. And then you learn when them old habits try to sneak up on you. You ain't going to overdo you ain't. Listen, you know how you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Amen. 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 
Amen. You let yourself go in certain areas. I'm, I'm overweight. My doctor told me I was three something. I ain't gonna tell you how the other number. Three something. I thought the scale was broke. She said, ain't nothing wrong with the scale. So I can lose it, but it's gonna take time. I gotta start taking measures to lose it, right? Amen. Well, now that you in the family of God, yes. the flesh gonna still wanna do what it wanna do, yes. but you gotta kill it. According to Romans chapter 8, you gotta mortify, yes. which means you got to kill it. Yep. Mortify means kill it. Read yes. Romans chapter 8, verse 13 when you get on. Romans chapter 8, verse 13. 13 says you got to mortify the deeds of the flesh. That means kill it. Amen. And then I'm closing with this in Luke 9, 23. Jesus said, take up your cross daily and follow me. Let a man deny himself. Amen. Luke 9, 23. Jesus said, deny yourself. You know what that word deny really means? Put away yourself. Remove yourself. And disown yourself. Because you belong to me. Amen. Take up your cross daily. Disown yourself. Talk about them bad habits, those things that are, only the things I'm talking about that'll get you in trouble with God. Amen. Amen. Only the things that'll hinder your relationship with God. Yeah. All the things that'll cause you to lose power. Because every time you disobey God, you don't have the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You lose a little bit of it. Amen. Like Papa when he eat the spinach. Amen. Amen. And we go fight old Brutus. Then you got to eat some more spinach. When you disobey God, you still got the right frame of mind. But each time you lay down the sin, you don't have power over it no, no more. But each time you walk away from it, it strengthens you. Amen. And then Satan will have to polish a new trick to trick you. That's right. Because you defeated him in that area before. He don't want to rematch. Look to the next say, Satan don't like rematch. He don't like rematch. Satan don't, don't, don't like rematch. Give the Lord a hand clap and pray. In Jesus' name. All right. Let us pray.